Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. When I began my journey for my own life, I established that I was very much a heterosexual in life. But I have siblings and their actual betrothed husbands who want to call me gay, who want to insult me. My elder sister, not much older than me, married the biggest bastard on the planet. Not only was he an alcoholic and a womanizer, he literally destroyed almost every family event with his attitude and his arrogance. The only thing that helped him to survive at those events was that he's a culinary chef, a very good cook. And because of that, he was able to be, well, a little bit on a better look with my father. My father actually had to do an intervention with him, apparently while I was nowhere in America. I was living overseas, I was doing my life, I was having my family, and I was not thankfully a part of that. I learned about it. The goal was to set him back on track and get him out of his alcoholism. This is a shitbag who failed out of the military and the Navy, and he openly got a dishonorable discharge. That's how immature he was. But then, several years later, he practically put my family or my siblings' family in bankruptcy. He's raised two boys who might be marvelous, but my experience of them is one is very quiet out of the naturalness of his birth order. The other is a marvelous tall bastard just like him insulting me all the time and I fault my sister for that I fault her for not establishing what credible resources should be for her life it was her choice to marry him it was her choice to survive him and it's her choice to bury him when he dies but here's the marvelous thing I don't think she's got a placard to her name I don't think she's got a retirement I don't think she's got a place to bury herself and hopefully I had those documents but someone kept stealing them out of my vehicle you see, I have siblings who think they have rights to a life they have no factual, functional, lawful rights to. But every single one of them stood in a courtroom and lied about my faith to make me look like an absolute fool. Why did they do that? Out of jealousy, perhaps, of my relationship with my late father? Or out of a desire to have more inheritance at the t demise of my mother? But I don't really care because all I wanted in my lifetime, just like any child of any person does, is the love of their mother and father.